In January 2020, I decided to make the leap to a life as a digital entrepreneur. I had been working in corporate event marketing for 15 years and decided it was time for something new. My zest for my career had faded and I found a new passion that I was very excited about. For the previous four years, I was slowly growing a business in my spare time outside of work. It started out as a hobby and then it turned into a side hustle. And by the time I took the leap, this was now my full-time gig. I use the words full-time uh, sparingly because I'm not really working full-time anymore. With my wife moving back to her career full-time and away from her stay-at-home mom duties, I've jumped in a lot to help around the house, you know, with kid duties. Uh, shuttling the kids back and forth from school and camp and packing their lunches and helping with homework and soccer dadding, you know, soccer dadding, <laughs> all that type of stuff. So lately I'm kind of a half-time entrepreneur and half-time stay-at-home dad, which is great. Of course, the pandemic, you know, threw all these roles out the window for an extended period of time, but things, they're getting back to normal now, which is great. But I do look back about what I used to do and the salary and benefits that I had, and I wonder, did I make a mistake? Did the glory of going out on my own and doing my own thing get me so excited that I didn't think long-term enough? Well... Let's review some disadvantages of entrepreneurship versus being an employee, and I'll share some pros as well. But before I do, please consider giving me the YouTube triple thanks. That's hitting the like button, the subscribe button, and commenting down below. I appreciate it as I'm growing this small business of mine. Thanks so much. All right, let's jump in. Con number one, making less money, a lot less. During my career, I was able to grow my salary immensely. My last role had my salary around $180,000. All I had to do was sell stuff and make clients happy. Was it hard? Uh, at times it was difficult, but mostly it was something that I was skilled at and therefore I should have been happy, but I wasn't. <laughs> I really didn't enjoy what I did. And today, I pay myself a salary of around $36,000 to run my business as its sole employee. If I perform well and sell stuff and make clients happy, I'll consider giving myself a raise. <laughs> but for now, I'm in growth mode and therefore I need to keep investing my time, my money, and my resources into the business. I hope to make more in the future, but it is what it is right now. With my wife working as well, we have about $6,000 take home each month, and that's plenty for us to live on right now. Pro number one, time freedom. The counterpoint to making less money is that I've earned so much more time back in my life. Right now I'm working between like 10.30 and 3.30 each day. After the kids are off to school or camp, I exercise every single day. I've never felt so healthy in my entire life. When I wanna take a vacation, there's only one person to ask. Me. <laughs> well, I gotta I got ask my wife, I probably. <laughs> yes, I still have to get work done before that vacation, but I'm in control of that work. I'm in control of what I wanna do with my time, and I love that. When I was side hustling this business and working in the evenings and working in the weekends, it was a must, but now that's a rarity. I've prioritized more of my time towards my family as a soccer coach, a PTO treasurer, and a dad who's there. Life is good right now. I've honestly never been happier. Con number three, complacency isn't an option. There were times in my career when I was working hard, driving sales, leading teams, and making my employer proud. And there were other times when I wasn't as much of a go-getter or wasn't exceeding my goals. The awesome thing about being an employee is that I still got paid the same amount of money either way. That is definitely not the case with entrepreneurship. If I'm not hustling during my 20 to 25 hour work week, then I'm not making money. And even though Nicole and I were well prepared for this entrepreneurial leap, we still need to make money to live. So if daddy isn't earning, we're hurting. I'm so thankful that Nicole got a great job with excellent benefits. That has definitely taken a lot of the pressure off and you know, it, we're a good team together. So in short, without her and my drive to see this business grow, we wouldn't be doing so hot. So complacency is not an option with entrepreneurship. Pro number two, I love what I do. For the longest time, I did not like my job. It was a fine industry with fine people, but I was so done with it. I fell into it out of college based on an internship that I got from my dad. Thank you, dad. I appreciate it. It was fun, 
because I got to travel a lot and I met a lot of younger people who were fun to hang out with. Once I had a family though, I realized it wasn't the best career for me, all the travel and everything like that. And at that point though, I, I kind of really needed the money. I was a dad, I was a husband and I needed to provide. So for the next 10 years, I grew my salary, I grew my career, I grew my position the best I could. And it worked, we did some great things. We became millionaires in our 30s, we paid off our mortgage early, and we're now in a position to coast into retirement based on the retirement savings that we have thus far. I'm thankful for all of that, truly. But I was done with my job, I was done with my industry, and I was done with the emotional grind. Today, I absolutely love what I do. I get to help people with money, and that, that's fun to me. Every other week, I get to interview really interesting people on my podcast, and they help me to grow. I can't tell you how much I've learned from doing my podcast. It's definitely been more than I learned in my six-year MBA program. So I may make 140 k fewer dollars per year, but I wouldn't trade it for the world. I love my new job. Con number three, entrepreneurship can be volatile. When I decided to leap for my nine to five job, I did it with a few parachutes packed away outside of the emotional and financial support that I had from my wife. These were $100,000 in savings, a paid off house, and a sizable contract from a client. The savings made me feel comfortable knowing that we could always dip into it if we needed. Paying off the mortgage gave me confidence in knowing that we'll never lose our house. And the client contract helped Nicole and I know that my income would be solid. Unfortunately, a little global pandemic came along in my first year of entrepreneurship and the contract was canceled due to loss of revenue after about a half a year of working together. So that sucked. This was a huge blow to our family's income, my company's overall revenue and my mental health, honestly. It was a tough one. It was a tough one to come back from. There were sleepless nights. There were even some tears. I was feeling, I was feeling really low. But after some time and some advice from friends and family, I realized that this experience, it was a blessing. I'm no scientist, but I believe global pandemics are quite rare. So if I can make it through this in my first full year as an entrepreneur, then I've got a good chance of succeeding. Since then, I've diversified my clients. I've opened up several new income streams and my small business future is looking bright. Pro number three, the sky is the limit. I do think about the great salary I used to have and I sometimes get a little jealous of employee Andy. After my jealousy subsides, I get motivated and I think, can I eventually make more than employee Andy? Learning from and seeing many of my digital entrepreneur superheroes, I not only think it's possible, I think it's an inevitability. I have the drive, I have the will, and my heart, it's in this. Here are some of the heroes who inspired me along the way. Crystal Lee Beck, she makes over $100,000 per year as a writer and an agency leader working only 20 hours per week. Kellen and Brittany Klein, they make over 250K per year blogging and they work together on their small business together, which is cool. And then Tiffany Aliche, she started off unemployed, broke, and now she runs a $10 million digital business. I've had the chance to interview these folks and many, many more who've inspired me to grow and win for my family. And they love what they do. They are helping people and they're getting paid well for it. So to wrap things up, growth, work-life integration, and happiness, that's what I am striving for. But even if I don't make another dime, I'm happy. I love what I do and I'm making enough money for our family to enjoy our lives to the fullest. Without a mortgage, our $72,000 take home pay is plenty for us to live on and have a happy life. So anything on top of that is gravy. Gravy does taste good though, so I'm gonna go for that gravy. Where's the ladle? <laughs> enough from me, I would love to hear from you. What would you add to this list of disadvantages of entrepreneurship? How about the advantages? please let me know in the comments below. This is Andy Hill from Marriage, Kids, and Money, signing off. Carpe diem.